is completely ridiculous because Guam has much more nightlife. <laughs> now, here's something that is startling. Those of you who occasionally go to doctors, as we all do, um, chairman of the uh, Congressional Subcommittee, Claude Pepper, said that there may be in the United States as many as 10,000 doctors or people practicing medicine with phony medical certificates from overseas who are not actual doctors. Does that scare you? Now, the way they found out they were fakes, they called all these doctors on Wednesday afternoon, and they were not playing golf. <laughs> and also, they were making house calls, and they knew something was wrong. Guess who is getting married again? Yes. Elizabeth Tate, me! Elizabeth Taylor is going to march down the aisle for the eighth time. Boy, she has single-handedly made Uncle Ben rich. <laughs> Uncle Ben's rice. <laughs> anyway, we have an exciting show later on. The three wise men will be out here and tell us that they are looking for three not-so-wise women. <laughs> anyway, we have a fine young actor, Michael Keaton, is with us tonight. Yeah. Very, uh, a very, a lovely lady, um, and one of the truly fine big band singers, and we're going to try to do something together later. Miss Helen O'Connell is with us tonight. And a very funny comedian, Paul Rodriguez, is with us. And the official lighting of the Christmas decorations in Burbank. So, oh yes, so stay with us and we'll be <laughs> The season has begun. Official Christmas season on the West Coast. I can see Buckley in his dressing room saying, Why did I get on a show like this? <laughs> man is lighting a hat. I'm going to talk to that man later. Anyway, we were going to take a break. We have John uh, LaRiquette with us, not from us. Did I say Thomas? Oh, I know it's one of those prepositions. <laughs> he's not from us, he's with us tonight. Or to us. And then we... Uh, then we <laughs> Just say we'll be right back. What's wrong with one? I can't get the word, sir. We'll Lying, be. Coming out lying in state. Uh, we'll be. We have Joe Williams. Oh, yes. And, of course, William F. Buckley Jr. We'll be right back. Marcel Marceau, the great uh, French mime, has been a guest on this show over the years, I suppose a half a dozen times, and uh, I try to do things with him. And uh, one night he came on the show, and uh, I guess I did the talking, and uh, he gave me a hand, well, he gave me two hands. Here's a little excerpt with Marcel Marceau. There is a, uh, maybe we could do something together. Uh, anything with you. Well, if I would put my hands behind your view, and you would talk, but not at all, paying attention of what I'm doing. Just I talking just talk. about it. It will be my hands and your voice, okay? Oh, I see. Behind. Talk. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Uh, actually, we've got a wonderful show tonight. A great guest. And I want to tell you, I've been in the hairdressing business for about 20 years. We will do a commercial here, and then we will come right back. Now, what are we selling? Here it is right there. Here's a little... Here's a little work of your woman's work. Your husband's from Perda and Ed McMahon. Very good. Oh, wait a minute. Ed's not there. Can you hold just a second? I don't know what got into me. Oh, my golly. Why were we... Oh, how silly. All right, now here's Ed, and we'll be back in just one minute. <laughs> Okay. 
There's an old saying, a cliche, that in any tragedy, if you look under the the unpleasantness of something, there's there is comedy. That has happened on this show occasionally. We have nights where you come out and there's no understanding why the audience is in a silly mood or things aren't going right, and you'll start something and maybe the monologue doesn't. Then we come to the desk and we get deeper and deeper, uh, and you just want to go home. And you've got another 45 minutes to the show. Here's one of those nights where nothing just seemed to mesh together. A little tragedy. Uh, so, are you going to celebrate the uh, yes. Chinese New Year tonight? Yes. You will celebrate Arbor Day, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> How do you celebrate the Chinese New Year? Could take a friend to McDonald's for, uh, what, Ox McNuggets? <laughs> this is the year of the Ox. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get swinging in a moment here. What else happened? Oh, Margaret Thatcher is not in town. She actually is in Washington and uh, with meetings. And a reporter asked her what the biggest contribution that Great Britain has made. And she said, deporting Robin Leach. <laughs> Kmart shoppers, I am 34, back to the home and long boys. <laughs> Messy, aren't they? <laughs> when you tell your Irish grandmother that her corned beef is a little dry, she will jump to her death off a statue of Barry Fitzgerald, Robin Leach. <laughs> An owl wearing a toupee makes a bad pet. Robin Leach. I'm going to go through with this. as a carpet. Is this really frozen? No, it's a piece of wood. What? A piece of wood in there. Well, that's not a good buy, is it? We <laughs> should point out, when you go to the supermarket and buy this, you do not get a piece of wood. We'd like to introduce an, oh, a new sponsor. Yes. Welcome you. <laughs> fine, fine sponsor, Mrs. Mrs. Pauls. She's she lost her husband. Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Pauls lights lights the food. So, no, I got to get this right because this is their, their new very sponsor. first appearance. We'd like to welcome a new sponsor to the tonight show. <laughs> Mrs. Pauls light soup. <laughs> Mrs. Paul's light, 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 light seafood entry. Andres. 